Hello guys, Furfy's Logo here, and today I'm showing what I bought while I was out. So, I stopped by several hobby stores and a video game store, so... Yeah, the first thing I got from the first hobby store was some Model Master paints, which this in fact is black. I got some new black paint. My other black paint, well, it doesn't really, well, it chips a lot. Like whenever, some of the times when I've had it in the bin, like it would often chip. So I got this just to replace it. Well, I will be using my other black paint for weathering. So, yeah, next I got this. It's a little wooden railway milk tanker. Now, I only own one wooden railway milk tanker, which is the official Thomas Wooden Railway one. And when I saw this, well, this was the only one left, I decided it sent. I might as well just get another tanker. So, let me just get out of the package. There. Here it is. Yeah, nice little model. I have, again, like, I have been eating another tanker for a while. And. I finally have one. I might get a few more of these in the future. Oh, yeah. So. These were $4.18 each, and this was $6. So. Yep, yeah, now next I got, which I do not know the brand of these, I just saw them there and I th thought of just, I just saw these while I was there and I decided just to pick them up. They are this, these weird, little, oh, 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 weird plasticky train out. First one's a flat car. It has logs, and the other one's just a tender. Now, I do not know what brand these are. So, if anyone can find out what brand these are in the comments, let me know. And next thing from, well, this is actually, well, this was from the first hobby store. This, These next things are from the next hobby store I went to. Also, I got an ornament, a Thomas ornament, so let me just get out. Yeah, I mainly got this since, well, it was there and I wanted to have another Thomas to add to my Thomas, Thomas shrine. Oh, oh, let me just get this out. Yeah, here's, here it is. Here's Thomas, and the little flatbed with the tree, and some presents. Yeah, all this, like all these items here, were ten dollars. Yep. So I'll just move those over there. Now next is from another. These next items are from another hobby store I went to. So, first is this diesel, which I mainly bought this for the motor because I am, make, because the mall on the, because the chassis on the mall that I was using for Daisy doesn't work, so I was just going to use this as it's, take the motoring out of it and just use it on for Daisy. And the body from this diesel will become a scrap engine. So, yeah. And next I got this. These display cases, which I will be using to display some of my rare items in, which you get four of them. So, you know, I have some rare items like that pre-production adventures Emily, that Red Timoth Milk, Hornby Red Timoth Milk Tanker, and that one Thomas... 
Warren B. Thomas with the creepy face, so these, they will be going in there. And next are just some other little wooden railway items, so first is a cargo car, yeah, this is my fifth, no, um, sixth, sixth cargo car, yeah, I have six of these. Well, four of them are like this one, and the other one's a different type. Yep, and this, I will just be using this as a, a slate wagon, and the price for it was $5. But yeah, next is something, I've been wanting to get more of these for a while, which is a tanker, which it's one of these paintable tankers. It's, I've been painted, and the price for it was $2. Oh, and the price for this here was $10, and the price for this diesel was this diesel here was ten dollars for those wondering so yeah i finally have another tanker using my series i will be repainting it though i'll probably just repaint it black or probably white oh, don't, i might just paint it black so, yep, next is a James tender, which I will be using on my big city engine, because it says the big city engine doesn't have an accurate tender. I got this James tender, well, to put behind it, to paint up to put behind it, to make it look a little more accurate. So, the James tender here was $3, and the next one item is a Percy, which I already own a Percy, but I, this Percy, in fact, was $10. So, I got this purse because I was going to turn him into a Great Western Railway Percy. So, yep. And next are the last two items, which these I got from a video game store. Well, the diesel wind railway items in that car case from a different. Uh, those came from an, another um, hobby store. And these next two are from a video game store. Well, it sells movies and video games and music so first is the game which is Mario Luigi Dream Team which I've been wanting to get more RPGs for a while for my 3DS so yeah I only have a another game for it so yeah next is this Pokemon Go Clark set four, well, four films, films that are in it. So, this case isn't the original case it had. Like, while I was there, the case was damaged. So, the people there just took... The case was already broken. Well, the little thing that held the DVD in was broken, so they replaced it. While, while they were... Game I, while they were... Getting my stuff ready. So. Yep, yeah, so. They replaced it while I was. While I was paying, so. Yep, so this is all I got. And. Yet, yeah, it's barely. The year is barely over. Like, it's halfway over. And yet, more things happen. Like, the Thomas Meetup got cancelled. Which it's, I think it's been moved to next year, I think. So, also for Fear Feast Loco question is that, well, I, is that, do you think I should vlog my experience there? There, let me know in the comments. Also, one thing is that I will be there, probably just selling a lot of my old Tommy and Trackmaster stuff, as well as some minis and other miscellaneous items. Yeah. So, yeah, also there are a lot more things have happened this year, which, well, a lot more things have happened this year, like the whole George Floyd incident. Yeah. I'm not going to go into too much detail about that, so, yep, this is Furfy's Loco, signing off.